gymnastics, a sport for the ages, a crowd favorite due to its beauty, artistry, and showmanship. Throughout the years, only one group of athletes has represented our country on the international stage. But recently, a new group of gymnasts has come forth, pushing the sport to heights and popularity the likes of which it has never seen. They are the indisputed celebrities of the U.S. men's gymnastics team. But the burning questions are, when and how did they get here? The truth is, they've always been a part of gymnastics. The far reaches of the world showcases its own version of the sport. But here in America, they've traditionally played other sports. The reason is, gymnastics is complicated. Whereas a boy playing basketball only needs a ball, a blacktop, and a hoop, a gymnast needs an entire gym filled with state-of-the-art equipment and a trainer for each apparatus. However, in true youth innovative fashion, over the years these boys have found a way to bring the sport to their own backyard. And in 1980, one of those boys finally made it to the international level. Were you at all intimidated about being a black gymnast in a sport dominated by whites? Uh, no, I don't think so. I, I think that by being black in gymnastics, uh, a sport that was dominated by whites at that time, uh, it may have encouraged me to even work harder and to try and, uh, to try and maybe be the first. But it would be 12 years before the sport saw another. He gets a nine. After gymnastics, Jair Lynch became an award-winning real estate developer. But the new faces of the sport aren't fading away so quickly. Women's gymnastics found crossover success decades ago. Betty Okino became an actress and a motivational speaker. Dominique Dawes appeared in music videos, commercials, and had a recurring role on Broadway and Gabby Douglas became a media sensation. It seems the men are finally ready to follow suit, and in John Orozco, the sport may have its biggest crossover success yet. I was, I've always been uh, singing in the shower, and when, no one, when nobody's around, I would start singing like, like, I really, like nobody was watching. I will love you till the end. So if you're out there, I swear to be good to you. It's just been, I would like to sing a lot and I like to act too and uh, I like to dance. Uh, I like to do a lot of things. From flipping on mattresses and dreaming of Olympic gold to tumbling down neighborhood streets to representing our country on the world stage, these athletes have found their place in the sport. With their future secure and their fan bases on their side, these blackbirds have finally learned to fly.